to the Chemistry 121 Supplemental Instruction Series of videos. I'm Joey Smokey, and in this episode I'll be talking to you guys about acid and base definitions. There's three particular ones. You have the Arrhenius definition, the Lewis definition, and the Bronsted-Lowry definition. Now, I've color-coded this to make it a little bit easier. You might want to write these down. The acid definitions are in red, and the base definitions are in blue. So, your Arrhenius acid is going to make hydronium ions in solution. Basically, it's just saying that you have the presence of acid in solution. It's a pretty simple definition. Likewise, the base definition is it, that it creates hydroxide ions in solution, meaning that you have the presence of a base in solution. This is pretty basic. Arrhenius was the first guy to basically think about what the definition of an acid in a base is. The next guy to come along was Lewis. And he said that an acid is going to accept an electron lone pair. If you remember Lewis structures, you know, how you had the lone pairs and bonding and all that, that's basically what he was using to explain acids and bases. So his definition, like I just said, for an acid is that it will accept lone pairs of electrons. For the base, it's the opposite. It's going to donate lone pairs of electrons. For your particular class, you might not need to worry too much about this stuff, but if you go on to, you know, more organic type chemistry or anything like that, you'll see this type of definition a little bit more often. The most refined definition that you're probably going to see the most is the Bronsted-Lowry definition. And these guys said that an acid is simply something that donates a proton or a hydrogen ion, and that a base will accept that proton. This is, this is the most basic definition and probably one that's the easiest to understand because when you have an acid in solution, it's going to donate that hydrogen ion to the base, so it's donating the proton, and then the base is going to accept that proton. That's basically how you get water. You have the hydroxide accepting the hydronium, and then you have water, just like that. So you, if you think about conjugate acids and bases, if you go watch that episode, you'll be able to understand more clearly what the Bronsted-Lowry definition is. So, even though there's a whole bunch of different definitions, there are just different ways to look about what an acid and a base is. It's all pretty simple. So, just remember that Arrhenius acid makes stuff in solution, Bronsted donates and accepts, that sort of thing. So there you go, acid-base definitions. 